Hello my crafty friends. Today's layout, I start with a thin layer of gesso. I want to gesso it to waterproof the pages, but I also want it thin enough so I can see the text of the pages shining through. It's going to be part of my design. This page was inspired by Sandra Reynolds on YouTube. I found her art journaling video and I really loved the way she had done it, so I thought I'd try and do a similar effect. So I start off with my gelato crowns in the four colors. I just squiggle them randomly on the page and then I use a baby wipe just to smudge them over and blend them and smooth them over the pages. The pink and turquoise gelatos are actually metallic and they're not quite as vibrant or intense as the other colors. So I've just got to put a couple of layers of that, but I think it still does work out. I'm going to use my texture paste and this stencil and I'm just going to stencil randomly on the pages. For those of you that are watching that are in Australia, this um, stencil is from a three pack that I bought from Kmart. I'm using a palette knife to spread the texture paste. If you don't have a palette knife, you could also use an old credit card or a thick piece of card. Once the first layer of texture paste is dry, I'm going to use another stencil and do texture paste to that one too. These are Ken Oliver pigment powders. They're very concentrated powders that you mix with water. I'm just going to be spraying. So I, I sprinkle a little bit of the powder in just random areas and then I spray with the water and you can see the intense color that starts to pick up. And then I'm just going to lift the book in different um, way from the top and the bottom and just let the colors run in between the textured areas. The spraying of the water didn't work quite well, so I'm just using a wet paintbrush just to help with the distribution of the color.
Once all the colors are dry, I'm going to use a little bit of gesso on my finger and I'm just going to dab it over certain areas just to lighten them and to make more of a contrast between the lights and the darks. I'm going to create some watercolor style flowers. I'm just using some watercolor paper and I'm going to use my pigment powders. I'm just going to put a little bit of the powder with some water to make sort of like a watercolor type of solution. And then I'm going to paint the petals using three little dots. And then I'm just going to do the brush strokes like petals and let the color run and seep into the petals. So they're quite loose watercolor flowers. I'm going to make quite a few, so I'm going to speed this section up quite a bit more just so you can see it happen really quickly. I'm going to cut each flower out individually but just to start I want to see how I'm going to outline this. So I've just got a fine liner pen that I'm just going roughly around each petal and around the center. I'm not keeping the line straight. I want it just to look like either like doodling or just really um, like scribbly kind of drawing and then I'm just adding a bit of a white marker as a highlight. So I'm just going to go around and cut each one separately and then do the outline with the fine liner. I'm now going to add them to my background and I'm just going to just see what suits it best. I'm not quite sure yet how they're going to be. So I'm just going to play around with the colors and the placement until it's something that I'm happy with. I've found that I don't like the full white outline. So I'm going around each flower again and sort of cutting in between the petals so there's less white showing.
I have some stickers in my stash, some alphabet stickers that I'm going to use. Um, I thought the colors were pretty similar and the size of the letters were what I wanted. I just wanted the word dream. So I've just stuck the stickers onto the watercolor paper, cut around them, and then I'm just edging them with some black so they can stand out. I'm just using a black fine liner. Once I'm happy with all the elements and their position, I'm going to glue everything down with some craft glue. When everything is stuck down, I just take a piece of paper over each page and just press my hand firmly just to make sure everything is stuck down and adhered well. I feel the word dream still doesn't stand out enough as a focal point, so I've taken a thicker marker and I'm going around it more boldly so it stands out more. I want the writing to still look a bit scribbly, so I'm taking a black fine liner again and just going over by the darker areas with a few little extra lines so it looks a little scribbly and rough. And there's the final pages, bright and cheery. I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel and hit the little bell so you can get notifications of all my new videos when I upload them. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon. Bye.